Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be predicting Misfits into Zone X Series 008 or 008 uh, fight predictions. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. So we have prelims for this card. So the first fight we have is Alex Stein versus Mo Dean. So Alex Stein, he hasn't fought, but he's an orthodox Height 6'3", reach is 76, his age is 36, he's a heavyweight, and his opponent is Mo Dean. And Mo Dean is an orthodox, I don't know his height, don't know his reach, don't know his age, and he's a heavyweight, and he's fighting Alex Stein. So yeah, don't know much about this fight really, uh, they did the, what do you call it, um... Open workout, and yeah, it looks like they don't like each other very much. Anyway, uh, for me, Alex Stein's going to take it. Uh, and then we have Jack Crater versus the Magic Crasher. Um, this is another prelim fight. I don't know much about them. Um, yeah, so Jack Crady... He hasn't fought. He's an orthodox. He's 5'11". I don't know his reach. He's 33 years old. He's a cruiserweight. And his opponent is the Magic Crasher. And then the Magic Crasher, he is... Uh, his zero fights. Uh, he is 5'9". Uh, his reach is 67. His age is 42. I don't know his division. But it must be a cruiserweight. And his opponent is Jack Grader. For me, for me, I think the Magic Crasher is going to take it. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then we have Unibear or Unbear versus Corn. So this is the rematch. Because uh, they did it in 007 on the prelims for KSI versus Joe Fournier. Anyway, so Yunobir, he's a 1-0 fighter, he's an orthodox, I don't know his height or reach, he's 20 years old, he's a welterweight, his opponents have been Corn and then Buon, and now he's fighting Corn again, uh, and yeah, and then Corn, he's a 0-1, he's an orthodox, he's 5-9, he's 72 in reach, he's 19 years old, he's a welterweight, his opponents have been Unbear and lost, and now he's fighting Unbear again. But for me, I think Unbear is gonna take it. Uh, that's just my opinion. And then now into the main card, we have Brandon Herrera versus Action Man. So Brandon Herrera, he, uh, this is his first fight. I don't know his stance. He's six one. His reach, I don't know. He's twenty seven years old. He's a cruiserweight, and his opponent. Is Action Man. And then Action Man, he's an orthodox. He's 5'9. He's 71 in reach. He's 33 years old. He's a cruiserweight. And his opponent is Brandon Herrera. And for me, I really don't know much about this fight. Two heavyweights, cruiserweight, sorry, uh, coming together. I can't remember that sounds a bit weird. But, um,. I think I'm going to go Brandon Herrera. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know about that fight. And yeah. And then we have Alan Belcher versus Hasim Rahman Jr. So Alan Belcher, Belcher he's a 4-0 fighter. He's an orthodox. His height is 6'2". He's 75 in reach. He's 39 years old. He's a heavyweight. His opponents have been Tony Lopez and won... Bobo O'Bannon and one, Frank Tate and one, Arnold Adams and one, and then Hasim Brahman Jr. And Alan Bel Belcher. Belcher is a MMA fighter, or well, used to be, and now he's a BKFC fighter, which is bare knuckle fighter, which is boxing but bare knuckle, if you don't know. Then Hasim Brahman Jr. is 12 and 2. He's a southpaw, he's 6'3", he's 77 in reach, he's 32 years old, he's a heavyweight, his opponents have been Mario Rodriguez, Jorares, 
and one Nathan Bidwell and one Kinsey Morrison and lost Greg Hardy, which was his first fight on Misfits and lost. But there was like a hundred pound difference, which is insane, than Alan Belcher. But for me, I think Hassan Brahman Jr. is gonna take it. Uh, next up we have Anthony Taylor versus Paul Barber. So Anthony Taylor, he's four wins, six losses, and two draw. He's an orthodox. He's five seven. He's sixty seven in reach. He's thirty four years old. He's a light heavyweight. His opponents have been Ashley Raksu, and he won. Then he fought Jack Fincham, and he draw. Uh, drew, and then he fought Idris Virgo and lost. Then he fought Salt Papi and won. And now he's fighting Paul Bamba. And then Paul Bamba is 0-1. He's a southpaw. He's 6 1. He's 76 in reach. He's 33 years old. He's a light heavyweight. His opponents have been Chris Avila and he lost. And then he's fighting Anthony Taylor. So for me, I think. Anthony Taylor is going to take it. And then we have Dean the Great and Mystery Partner versus YPG, which is Yaddy Gang TV and APAP. So this is a tag team fight again, bringing it back from 005. So Dean the Great, he's a 3 0 fighter. He's an orthodox, he's 5 6. He's 67 in reach. He's 22 years old. He's a light heavyweight. His opponents have been Evil Hero and one, Willie Sharks and one, Bully Arif and one, and now he's fighting YPG, which is Yada Gang TV and IA Pup. And now I'm just going to reveal who I think the mystery opponent might be. So for me, I feel like it's going to be Uncle Pizza. That's just my opinion. So if you don't, if you don't know who Uncle Pizza is, uh, he fought uh, Yuri Gang, uh, Yuri Gang TV on 006 uh, and one. So yeah, that's who I think the mystery opponent's gonna be. But I might be wrong. And then Yuri Gang TV, he's an O and one fighter. His stance is orthodox. He's 5'9". He's 71 in reach. He's 30 years old. He's a lightweight. His opponents have been Uncle Pizza and he lost. And now he's fighting Dean the Great and the mystery opponent. Which I think is Uncle Pizza. But I'm just going to say mystery. Uh, and next up is a Pipe. He's an old one fighter. His stance is orthodox. He's 5'9 in height. He's 71 in in reach. He's 30 years old. He's a lightweight. His opponents have been Wally Chucks and he lost. And now he's fighting Dean the Great and Mystery. But for me, I feel like Dean the Great and the Mystery Partner will take it. And then we have the main event, which is crazy that this is a main event. Uh, as you can tell by my background of this video, it's Survivor tag, it's Nick Lamel, uh, Swarms, Ryan Johnston, and B-Dave. So this is basically like a tag team, but of four people. It's a fatal four-way. So it's 1v1v1v1. Yeah. Anyway, Nick Lamel, uh, who's the first fighter, he's an only one. His stance is orthodox, his height is 5'11", his reach is 70, his age is 21, his division is super middleweight. His opponents have been Jay Swingler, which he lost, and now he's fighting B-Dave, B Swarms, and Ryan Johnston. And then we have Swarms, he's 1 and 2, his stance is orthodox, he's 5'8", he's 72 in reach, he's 26 years old, he's a cruiserweight, his opponents have been KSI, and lost. Ryan Taylor and won, Digi and lost, and now he's fighting B Dave, Nick Lamel, and Ryan Johnston. And then Ryan Johnston, his stance is all sorry, he's a 1 0, 1 0 fighter. His stance is orthodox, his height is 5'10, his reach is 71, his age is 31 years old, his division is middleweight, his opponents have been Kale Siraj, whoever the hell that is. And he won, and now he's fighting B Dave Nicolamel and Swarms. And then B Dave, he's two wins, one loss, and one draw. He's a orthodox. 
He's 5'9", his reach, I don't know, his age is 25 years old, he's a middleweight, his opponents have been Carleon and Drew, and then fought Zach Bernandez and won. Then, when he went to Misfits, he just, he was, he went in everything. So, this was the very first mystery partner, sorry, mystery fighter. So it was B-Day versus a mystery fighter, and who was uh, Luis Alcaraz Pineda, and he lost, lost, and then uh, the tag team, the very first tag team, which was Ice Poseidon and Anthony Vargas, which he won, and now he's fighting Nick Lamel, Storms and Ryan Taylor in the first 1v1v1v1 or Fatal 4-Way, but for me, I feel like the winner of this Fatal 4-Way is going to be Nick Lamel, but I feel like it's either going to be Nick Lamel or B Dave. Uh, and yeah, uh, for me, I don't think Ryan Johnston got a chance. Swamps, he got a chance. But yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. Be a massive help. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.